Yeah, I thought this was uh, more like a playoff style game. Uh, we certainly didn't start the way we wanted. It was almost a tale of two games for us. The first 30 weren't good, and the, the next 30 got a little bit better. Fortunately for us, we got some points. They're a very good opponent. And uh, I thought they uh, won the majority of puck races and wall battles in the first 30. And then we're able to uh, at least be even in, in the second half of the game. How did you see the game winning goal, now? I didn't, so I'm gonna have to watch it on film. I, I I know where he shot it from, and I know it went in, and that's about the, as much as I know. So I'll I'll go check it out. I think they're exchanging sticks or something, defenseman and goalie. And yeah. you know, I'm happy for Schutz. He he um, doesn't necessarily get the quality minutes other guys get. He might get more now, but uh, overall, I'm very happy for him. I put him out there because he had energy, and he was winning puck races. No, we 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 you know we discussed a few things, but overall, we challenged our team to believe in each other because I do think we were better than what we were showing in the first two periods. It's feel like it was just fundamental, simple hockey. The, the third goal, just get it, put it on net. Yeah, a lot of times when uh, things get really heated out there in playoffs are the same way. If you put enough pucks on net, you're going to get uh, rewarded at times. And I thought there was a number of goals that were net front tonight from both teams. You know, um, so you know it's uh, yeah, it's fundamental hockey as far as getting the puck there. But for whatever reason, early in the game, that wasn't happening as you know by the shot totals. So we finally got some some pucks to the net. And uh, I thought we started off pretty well, and I shouldn't uh, totally dismiss the first period. We stopped pretty well. For whatever reason, after the goal was disallowed, uh, we went to a lull. And that's not, uh, that can't happen against good opponents like this. And How did you see the goal disallowed? What, 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 I, I know they announced goalie interference, but did they say anything else to you? No, in, in, in fairness to the officials, they said that uh, there was interference with the goaltender. Because I don't have an iPad on the bench or something, you know, there's only so much you can discuss, and I don't want to. Uh, I didn't want to discuss or, or argue with the officials because you don't win those battles, and uh, we just move on. But we had to move on a little bit better than we did because uh, that lull was a little too uh, uh, too big for, for us. I don't think we got too many shots in that period. We had to kill a few penalties, as you know, so that goes plays into it. But no, overall, if if you hang around in games like that and good things can happen and I thought we did a better job in the third. Could you talk about the crowd's energy and how maybe the players fed off of it? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that because uh, I think that was a, the, one of the better crowds we've had all year and no question the kids fed into it. To, you know, they were looking for the winning goal for a couple shifts there. You know, Andre Lee took a puck to the net that was, I thought that was going in. And then Sodergren had an opportunity and then Hausinger had a look. Um, and then Schutze obviously put it in. So it's nice to see something go in. And they've been uh, kind of snake bit a little bit, but maybe this will break it. What do you expect tomorrow in uh, game two? Well, this is Hockey East. You guys know this. It's uh, very good coaches over there and an excellent hockey team. W one game doesn't make a weekend. It's going to be even harder tomorrow. And uh, we'll go up there ready to do battle. And uh, I expect the same fast pace uh, game. Thanks, guys. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.